if you do uh, you know the computer programming on it, a bit like the Anytones and whatnot, you can get it to go 25 to 30 meg, and uh, it's switchable between 4 watts and 12 watts as well, Roger. Yeah, Roger there, mate. Roger, uh, sounds like a nice little box of tricks. It's certainly becoming uh, more commonplace now for people to have these uh, multifunctional radios. The old, uh, the old UK 40 is a great rig, don't get me wrong, but uh, where everybody's flicking around the bands, they, they're certainly becoming more commonplace now. Um, I think uh, every man and his dog probably got an any now. Yeah, Roger, well, Jason. Yeah, but this one is, it's only AM, FM, but uh, no SSB on it, but uh, it's just a temporary radio, really, until I can fix my 3900, but uh, there we go. Just quickly, I'll pop back over to Sid quick. Uh, how am I sounding on, uh, on this radio there, Sid? Yeah, it's got a bit of poke on it. Okay there, um, Chris, not too bad at all. Yeah, Roger. Um, I quite like it. It's got different uh, different coloured displays on it. You can change the colour of the display on it. Um... Yeah, Roger. Only the stock microphone. Um, so I don't have the, uh, the, uh, any other diagrams or anything for this radio, so it was a bit of a, bit of a hit, hit and miss guess last night. But... Uh, I managed to uh, turn up the audio a little bit because it was very quiet, so I had to be pretty much eating the microphone in order for anyone to hear me, so uh, luckily I turned up the, uh, uh, the audio.